Stockholm to California. Super Speedway. I am Reggie in the booth alongside Bobby and Zach. Zach, you want to take over? Uh, yeah, so uh, starting off, this is our third race of the season. You can see Zion starting pole. Interesting fact, he won the uh, uh, summer race here last year, and he's going to start starting pole again. 30 laps. Uh, don't expect any pit stops, but uh, we'll see where that goes. Then we got Bobby Isaac in the booth today. Any, Hello, uh, yeah, any first thoughts for you? Oh, it, there's a lot of a lot of really rowdy competition. I mean, from last week in Pocono, well, yeah, from what I understood, it was Pocono. There yeah, was, was a lot cool. of rowdiness going on, and uh, evidently, I got caught up in a wreck, and that was a really nasty one too. And yeah, I just hope everybody that. can be a little bit calmer, a little bit more precise, which I think everybody's looking for, and uh, everybody just needs to. Probably run the middle line here, and yeah, that'd probably be the best thing to do here. Yep. Uh, one more thing to put in. Uh, we got two guys in their race debut. We're starting a part-time schedule. Ian Styles in 86 making his CCS debut, and also LJ Toledo. She is making her CCS debut in the 94. And then Anthony McClure returning to the Cars Link Up Series during part-time. He did the same last year. He did this year he's going to be running the four. And this will be rotating uh, week to week like it did last year. This time much earlier in the season, but uh, just something to keep in mind. And Zach, I want to ask you a question before we get started. Uh, are we going to see what we seen last season here, last race here, bumping, hitting, hitting the wall? You think we're going to see that again? I expect it to the fullest extent. I would be surprised if we didn't see it. Called the bump and run, my friend. That's the whole name of the game. That's yep. what just stream stock car racing. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, in practice, we had a lot of guys really pushing the envelope on the turn four specifically. So that's uh, going to be the area to watch um, if we do have any wrecks this race. Few and uh, few and qualifying actually going up really near the wall, and uh, in practice as well, and uh, some scraped the wall, didn't they? Uh, yeah, a lot of guys they went up pretty close to the wall, hitting it even to get as much out of the car as they could. Turn four gets really tight off that corner, and these guys they really run it, and they get pretty much into the wall off the corners to the point. Sometimes where they can keep the run, but sometimes they can't. Uh, it's a big risk versus reward. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of the guys try that top line to see if they can uh, get the best of it. Truly, truly. Zach, uh, you want to give them a top 10 rundown? Yeah, top uh, 10 uh, starting. Uh, sure got, uh, actually, I don't have the qualifying results, but uh do top five. Uh, Zion starting pole uh, did well here last year, uh, won the race. And then Brandon Nelson running on a new team in the 03, starting second. And then starting third is uh, Salamander Incorporated's number 40 Pontiac Red Lobster Cazzo. Uh, so far, Pontiac's undefeated this season, so maybe they can continue that today in that 40 car. Maybe someone from the back comes up front. He's starting fourth, third. And then fourth place starting is Daniel Paulus Jr. in the 22 new team. And then for starting fifth is a Gillette number 10 of Erky Freeman Jr. has been pretty quiet these past two races, so maybe he can make some noise today in that number 10. You ready to fire up engines here? Yep, engines are fired. And about, oh, yep, engine is just now fired. The drivers, start your engines. And they're going to start rolling off here in just a second. Bobby, right, I'm going to ask you a question. Bobby, I want to ask you a question. You think we're going to see four wide today? Oh, well, I have no doubt we're going to see four wide. If anything, knowing how these guys run, 
I mean, I'm in this mix. I know how this goes. I have no doubt we can see five. No doubt at all. Because there's some that will take that risk and try and run real low or even in the middle or the high line just to pull it off. And as the pace car pulls off, we're going green. Green flag in there. Go boogie, boogie, boogie. Let's go racing, boys. You're up first, Bobby. You want to? Leading the pack, we got the 97. And behind him, I can't really tell. Is that the uh, 48? That's the number 40, Pontiac. Oh, 40. Is that the only thing you run down? Yeah, the 48 and Pontiac Acaso, he's running here. Jump for the lead very soon, very early in the race. Gotta watch here for guys getting in the wall. Most of them kept it clean there. There's uh, three watch for second. I really don't think anybody wants to see any Ross Chastain pulled at this track of all places. <laughs> that would not really be good on the paint. And not really good on the wall protection inside the cars. Zion's your leader with Kazo falling in tow. Ooh. Brandon going for oh, second. Oh, getting into the water panel. Give him a little shove up. Oh, there's a wall over there. <laughs> hey, Zach, they're getting antsy back there. They're already full wide back there. They're fighting. Sheesh. No, all I seen was, uh, I don't know who that was, way back there by, way at the back. There was like four wide back there. Like, jeez. Well, that's something you don't see every day. An Xbox and PlayStation card going right at it. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, fun fact, uh, Nottawe won uh, this very race. He is the defending winner of this race. Hey, Xbox and PlayStation better battle it out. Oh, Ooh, boy. Yeah. Just don't touch that 71 car up there now. Yeah, they are battling for, I believe, that is 23rd or 22nd. Exactly, we're going to battle for the lead. Battle for the lead. Neck and neck right now. One's got the good air up high, and the other's got the other good air down low. So it's any one game. Gotta try to slide job here. Does clear. Clearing by half a bumper, I'd say. Uh, yeah, about half a bumper. We'll see what happens now. He's going low. He's gonna push him up high. Oh, pulling over to the chest thing. Hard hit though, not hard enough to slow him yeah. down a lot. Hey, they're full wide back to Zach. That's true. Again. Hey! The madness is just everywhere in this race. Yeah, the mid pack's really getting aggressive here. Man, they want to get aggressive in turn one, go full wide in turn one. Every lap so far. Jesus gracious. Oh, 23 is in the wall pretty hard there. Yep. 7, 21. Oh, 81. Everybody's going up near the wall now. Almost wrecked there. Four wide right now for that position. Jesus gracious. Two Dodges, two Chevy. <laughs> Looks like they're able to get out of that. Battle for the lead. Three wide. Three wide for the lead. Yeah, three wide for the lead. Ninety-seven design run. taking it back at that at that time by the line. So every that Xbox eighty one is going to get a good run off at twenty one. Yeah, every, every position, every lap led is a point, and these guys know that. Design specifically, he tried to get that one point there, and it looks like uh, Rick Firm Jr. in the ten also wants to lead a lap here. I looked up; there were three almost full wide in turn one yep. <laughs> for the lead. Yeah. Trying to look at uh, I'm trying to look at the lead and the mid pack at the same time. 
usually getting down to the end of these races. You know how wild they get. That's why I was saying they might try the five wide, but you never know what's going to happen. Yep. Ooh, watch out. Put your pet in the wall. There is no doubt that there has been a position held in this race by a single car. There is about every position has been changed. Yep. 40 in the lead once again in the line. And they do know that every lap led as a point towards standings. Hey, they're getting antsy in the back. Holy moly. <laughs> it's in the front, it's in the middle, and it's in the back. Really? It's everywhere. Cardio had painted the wall all turn. He painted the wall turn four. He's going to make up the ground, though, because he's going to catch that back back. Jeez. And he's going to run with them until they get up. Oh, nearly oh. All Ooh, who was that? Was that was Bradley Ream. He got really loose there with the 60 of Cody Forge going four wide into one. Ooh, man. Now they're four wide again. Hello. Yeah, Jonah, he's trying to get some spots. My buddy Bradley working that Mopar magic on that car now. Getting it done. Yeah, big block for He Eli knows Wolfram. how to move around this track, especially. Hey, battle for a second. Zach, battle for a second. Oh, he's oh, yeah, Make wall. sure they get through that corner there. Not too bad, though. Yep. Yeah. It looks like Abigail Lane up third. No, it's third now. It's third now. It was second, then it's third. Man, they're getting aggressive up front. And that pack of four right there will give enough, probably, to catch those two in the front. Yeah, they're pretty good drafting together up there though we'll see didn't think this choice would if be they don't split up well they just kind of did but they there's Ooh. two right there and two in the front so could be enough maybe not but the way it's looking now most likely not but i don't want to i don't want to call anything out yet yeah that 10 hey, they're, get, they're getting antsy really, in the back that that they're getting really, antsy in the back you're gonna look to that 40 Where is our recent winner at? Is recent it, winner, Joey Pace. Uh, not just recent winner, but two in a row. Uh, there oh, he is. they're around. Oh, oh they saved it. A, oh, somebody get him in a somebody get him in a Formula Drift now, man. Come on. Hey, man, somebody bring him up. Somebody bring him a pair of underwear. <laughs> that was on lap twelve. Definitely have to go look at that. Uh, there's no room for Jeff Jordan, him, and. Uh, <laughs> The 66, and they ran out of room. Right, Bob, Bobby, what's this thing? You might need to go change your underwear. <laughs> oh, no, man. Uh, he knew what he was doing. You just gotta <laughs> turn right to go left sometimes. And turn left to go right. And we do get our car around up front. Oh, there's a 40. That is second oh. place. Yep, and I believe my car was caught in that as well, but... Huge wreck in the back. Yeah, yeah, that's a 40. Yellow. That car was leading. Caution is out. Which, I would like. I would definitely like to see what happened here. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Let's go back. We were looking at the back. We oh, went look at the front. This was a huge wreck. This was huge. So Did I like, flip uh, somebody else again? <laughs> it's like uh, we're gonna have to go to helicopter. Oh man! Again. I'm gonna go ahead and add a pace lap. Just in case, this is going to take a minute to look at. Well, another wild ride, everybody. Like last week, nobody was like for that to happen. Was... Yeah, 10 cars. He, like... went up on, he went up on him, and that was all she wrote. Six got hit. 97 able to avoid. Go slow mo still. And down the track. But... I had nowhere to go. Ah, up in the air, 51. Seven, yeah, got by. I slick there. Defending winner will not be able to defend Cody Forge. Bradley no. Ream involved. Yeah, Exo. Quadruped. Style. Style. Gunther, involved with Evil Mourner. Barney Thresher the third. 
for selling me. Eat Evan H. Evan H. Brad Stover. Uh, R. Uh, N. H. Kazo. Take a look. Dork. Kazo's uh, Yuko roof cam. You see, he's just going in turn one, coming off the corner, trying to slide job him. He's going his favorite for a second. And then here comes, here comes 71. Bam! Man, last Three week and now this week. Yeah. Hey, that's all right. Imagine the retirement list is quite large. So the 03 has claimed the lead with that. Quite a few cars involved there. So we were starting to quarter we go, of the field right there, Zach. Hey, Zach, can we go board with the five to that? Five we go that? Uh, here we go and add the pace slap. If I need to remove them, I can go back and do that. Because it. Halfway now, by the way. Yeah. Now we want it. Might have been this time. Okay. No, it was. It was 14. Alright, so this is. So let's see, where's the 40 at? I want to divide from that. Two still me at this point. Yeah, the 40 was still up there. It's going to determine where he was. Yeah. Right, that see. was going to be on lap 13. And five, it uh, looks like just got scot through scot free from that. Yeah, it was just kind of in the right place at the right time. Oh, yeah. I made another one who go was, airborne. Man, who was that that hit the 40? That was Bobby Isaac in the that second. was me. <laughs> no, I'm talking, I'm talking about the second time that that yeah, was that, uh, 51. Yeah, that rainbow color guard. Yeah, that rainbow color car was Dripsy, and I doubt they're still in the race, but they might, they might still be running back in the pack. Yeah, they're. Oh wait, they didn't even get involved in the wreck. They're running sixth. No, nah, that was a like a rainbow color car. It wasn't Dripsy's. It was somebody yeah, else. I think it was that fifty-one. Yeah, I'll get crash. I'll get some crash replays or some crash yeah, we'll, pictures. We'll uh, look into it later race. on. That was oh, very unfortunate for the 40. They were running in second, hit the 10, got them spun around. So we'll have another restart. Not sure what lap that'll be, but very good. Uh, make sure who's the last running car in the field. There it is. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. XO. Oh, XO? Yeah, he might. He was definitely involved in that. So. Yeah, and yeah, then last he running hit... car is a 24. If he is able to. Uh, not wreck the leaders uh, and stay clean. We'll let them race. But uh, as for Yoiko, Bradley Ream, defending winner Joy Paints, who will not defend that win. Got a good points gap. Might still keep points lead, depending on how many laps are led today by uh, guys who have been up front today. Kazo, he led some laps. He's going to get some defense towards the laps he led. And then Lethal Mourner, Cody Forge. And then Gunther, Kazo, Brad Stover, um, Zevil, Jacob Shangle, and then Bobby Isaac. That is your retiree list. Only 35 cars remain in the field. On Zach, the can you give us a top five run now before we go to green? Yeah, I'll go ahead. and uh, We're going to go green uh, next time by. So we're going to get that top ten run now. Starting right now in first, Brad's Brandon Nelson started second. Then... Uh, that number 10 of um, uh, Rick Firm Jr., who was the leader right before the caution, but lost some time to the 40 spinning out behind him, let the 03 get by. And then third place is NASCAR um, Fireball 48. And then fifth place, or fourth place is Abigail Lane. Fifth place, Chef Squid. Sixth is Dripsy. Your pull sitter, Zine, is in seventh. And then, uh, here we go, pace minus real quick. We should be covering this time, keeping that in mind. And then in eighth place is Daniel Paulus Jr., ninth place, third Lex Gaming, and then tenth place is rookie Sean Ard. 
as we're going green this time. We're coming to the resort zone. So we're hey, Bobby. Green. Lap 19. Oh, my other fellow Dodges, man. Give it hell. Yep, Dodges is in the top. Run as hard as you can. <laughs> That's all I can say. Escort Fireball 48. And then third in Lexus Gaming. That's the only Dodges in the top 10. And just in a lot of places, Gaming Freak. Yep. And he's the guy that wrecked out last week after going doing the 360 in the sky at Pocono. <laughs> oh, I still... Uh... I didn't mean to even run into that. Yeah. But hey, you've been you've been up. putting you've been the wrong place, wrong time these past three races. Yeah, man. Bobby, you just been the ping. You just been like the ping ball machine. I think oh yeah, man. Okay yeah, it's all good though. Harder. Could be wrong though. I like playing pinball, it's all right. So here That's we go to the resort zone. Take it up, Bobby. And Tell you. They're green. And they're off. Yeah, Tin Car got a nice jump there. Very nice jump, man. He's going to get that outside line. Pulling, that hopefully, a better in front of him. Three. He's the outside line. A yeah. better chance to catch up if they can come out of this corner. The inside, though, it's building up enough to where they can hold it off. Now they're going to start splitting and uh, moving. Picking and choosing game right here, man. That's where it all matters. Go, we're gonna go about three wide right there. Three wide through, coming into one. Bobby, take yeah. over. Oh, and again, three wide holding it. Speed. We're gonna probably go four here in a second. We're four uh, wide in the back, again. Yeah. That 03 just lost the lead there from pure pace. That 91 is quick. Chiswood does not have a single win in the Cars Link Cup Series. He was able to hold out the line good enough where he can get enough run. And, uh, boy, he got it. He's going to try to lead a lap here. Yep, bro. Well, we got uh, one script in the wall in the Red Bull car. Two Red Bull. Uh, is there another Red Bull car? Yeah. I think that was a 23. I'm not seeing numbers uh, on that well. My apologies. No. Hey, they're full wide back there. Oh, yeah, they're getting rowdy now. They're about to start swapping more. The more and more we get near the end of this race, they're going to start fighting just for position. That 24 is still fairly competitive despite not having a hood. Aerodynamics, my friend. That's finest. Hey, he used to stay in the race as long as he's at the pace. So. That's true. Yeah, and that's good for him in this season standings. I mean, it's, it's more points he can go for. Yep. Chef Squid has not led a Cars Link Cup Series race since Orlando last year, and he has not a lot of laps led in his book, and zero wins today. Could be that day. Less than 10 to go. Ooh. Maybe, oh, the 03 gets on the wall, scraping. Yeah, 03 just lost a ton. That 82, was in, a, uh... that 82 was in 11th place on that restart. He's up to third now. Yeah, yet again, when they start moving outside or inside, even the middle line, there are ways to get through. And yet he just found the right places to get through and squeeze through to get up to the place where he is now. He's got his team over hey, that... his teammate behind him. Oh, he's going to have to probably work Big Boss Man through. Oh, Big Boss Man just got Yeah, he's a big <laughs> Yep. He's going to challenge for Which second. looks like that's not hey, going Zach, to can we, Zach, can we get to crank it up? Uh, sure.
I'm back. All right. That is uh, a little, our little version cranking up. Chef Squid still holds the lead. 82 is able to, be, to get around the 9 for a second. He's working his way up, man. And look who's in 10th place. Jonah. And look who's in ninth, Having a very good run. He's been weak all season. Yeah, it's only race three, but uh, yeah, Bird definitely hasn't shown a whole lot of upfront speed. But Jonah's once again, uh, this is shown his best track. I guess the, exactly, I guess the Bird Magic car helped this week. <laughs> look who's in the lead. And he has made it to it, man. Eighty-two good job, eighty-two now. He has also zero wins in the CCS, and ran the actually the same amount of races as Chef Squid has. So they're both in the same boat right now. If these guys can hold it off without having a caution now, we could see a first-time winner. Yeah. yeah, if we have a caution at this point, it may be the end of the race. Oh, these two don't take each other out. <laughs> it might be them too. It might be to the point it's going to be bumper to bumper now. Getting down to these final laps, you never know. I mean, this place has a lot of lot of history for bumping and running in the final laps now. 2022 Sox champion Geff Jordan has got made it into the side of the top 10. He's also battling for Rookie of the Year. Um, he's one competitor right now who's currently got the best average finishes, finish of the rookies is Crazy BGD, who's running 24th right now. It's not looking to repeat that today, but he may still keep that Rookie of the Year lead at this point. Hey, Bobby, with two, with three to go, you want to do race picks? I think it is three to go. Oh, uh, sure. Um, I, think, you want to yeah, I think the 91 will eventually probably get a run enough to where he could probably pass up the 82. But for the way things are going right now, I'm going to have to still stick with the 80 or the 82. Because yeah, he is, he's kind of got this figured out for uh, line treatment. And, uh, oh, well. Never mind, that might just change. <laughs> that might change right now. Yep, two exactly. to go with the stripe. So I'm kind of crossing that. between the 82 and the uh, 91 right now, man. Zach, your turn. All right, uh, well, I'm going to choose the... Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to say the 9. He might, he might pull something out of his pocket here. 82 be able to hold the lead there. Come to the white flag. I'm going to say it's going to be... might just hold it because the 91 just lost all 80. that momentum. And yet the 82 did not even touch the wall, I think. Barely. Yeah, they got one more lap here. This might be all 82. Yeah, this guy's side draft behind him definitely doesn't help anyone else's case. He's definitely not losing speed. Down the back stretch they go. Out of two. Lap 30 out of 30. Was flipping last week, and this week looks like he may end up in victory lane. Another fellow dodge. Looks like it's going to take the win, the 82. We'll win here in California. Congrats, my brother. Yep. Two Pontiacs and a Chevy have the, well, I guess one Pontiac and two wins, and the Dodge have the win list for this season so far. And Chef Squid was able to beat NASCAR Fireball 48 the line. Judah Burge once again keeping his top 10 streak at Auto Club alive with his 8th place finish here today. So, uh, any last thoughts between you two? Really rowdy race, man. Yeah, man. Good. Good rebounds this week for some of the drivers like Bird from the Rex last week at Pocono. Yep. It looks like some guys are going to need to recover next race. I don't know which race that is, but yeah. Yeah, I'm going to uh, let you guys there. go back to the shop and build a whole new car. <laughs> Again. Hold on. Uh, it's, it's Old Spice race uh, road course. Did you hear me, Zach? Old Spice Road Course, huh? Let's see. 
Yeah, it shows twice real quick. How many laps will we do there? Mm, 